Hey guys and welcome to episode 52 of my Splatoon 2 Online Let's Play. Today we're going to be trying out the Hero Shot replica which I unlocked not so long ago by going through all the levels in the single player and completing them with the Hero Shot which does take a while so I don't know if it was worth it or not. In my opinion it was because I just want to have everything in this game but for you it might not be because you might not be one of the people that want everything and it is very similar to the normal splatter shot but we're gonna test out how it controls really in comparison to the splatter shot and just really play with it and see what it's best at whether it's ranked or tier 4 and see whether it's a weapon that I'd use on a regular basis or not so let's get right into some games well, this game won't go well if a certain person isn't on my team. Or they're not on my team. There's a level 94 person. The other, the person on the other team using the Hero Shot replica is level 94. How long must they have played the game for? It's ridiculous. That's the highest level I've ever seen. Second highest I've seen, which I saw not too long ago, was an 82. And that smashes it. Because that is 12 higher. They're probably going to be like impossible to kill. Like this person seems to be. No. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the level 94 person. Don't know how you get that high of a level. Like, I want to get there someday, but. It's going to be probably 2019 before I get to level 99. Well, 94. But same with 99. I want to get to the highest level, which is like prestige, I think. Because I'm pretty sure you get to level 99 and you talk to Judd and you get a star next to your name. So I'm not too sure how that works, but either way, it's going to take ages. Right, can I kill. Yeah, I killed the 94 person. And I know that level doesn't necessarily represent skill, but you think if you'd played the game for that long, you'd be quite skilled. Well, I'm going to guess that the person is. Don't know if they are or not, though. And I did manage to kill them, which is a good thing, I guess, but that's not necessarily their lack of skill. Basically, I'm trying to say that I'm not calling them bad. Now, I should probably not use splash downs as in Cree Fuel, I should probably use them in an offensive situation where I'm being attacked to save my life, but it's obviously too late now because I've used it, and so far I like this weapon quite a lot. So I'm probably going to use it quite a lot. Right, I got you. Well, your name is Strange. Don't even know what some of the characters in that are. I'm just going to use this, I can't be bothered to swim. Even though I'm pretty sure I pretty much fully refilled my ink before I used the splash down, but it's too late now. Oop, person there. Right, you're just annoying, and I can't kill you, and you're going to use a curling bomb launcher and probably kill me. No, you're not using... Why are you not using your special person? It'd be quite useful for you not complaining because it makes it easier for us and this weapon is clearly good for coverage probably going to end up with a thousand p yep there we go we passed it and i think we've won that game even though we didn't have the level 94 so nice surprise i guess now let's look yep we won not by a massive amount but still won so i'm not going to complain here we are on Moray Towers this time, and we have a guy stood still doing pretty much nothing, which is a shame, but it's not the end of the world. Are they still stood? No, they're, they've reacted to the fact that the game started now, and are actually doing something. Well, I'd presume so. Right, are they coming? Yes, they are. Right, the level 94 is once again on their team which, as demonstrated last game, doesn't mean an instant loss. But, I died there anyway. I seem to be rubbish at fighting 
the octobushes, both forms. Not the ink bush though, the ink bush is a lot easier. I think it does slightly less damage though, so that may be why. Because I'm pretty sure the only difference with between the octo and the ink is obviously the design. And then I'm pretty sure the octo has more damage. Now I'm going to need to move. And I failed at that. Should have probably looked down at the floor. But I didn't. Be cool if there was a stage where the cars. Because I just noticed cars over there, that's why I'm mentioning it. If like cars came along the thing and they were an actual thing you needed, you'd need to avoid. Now I think this is currently quite a good tactic. Now I obviously have to be careful. Right, this is going to end now. There we go. I'm going to keep using this tactic for a little bit. Right, I've got a splash down, so I'll just use that if I come into contact with the person. Right, someone's gone all the way up there. So I'm going to get this area. I'm going to screen that as well, because I can. But I'm not going to super jump up there, because that person's now dead. Why does my connection always have to be unstable game? Does it all the time. Right, we're doing pretty well now. And they have a splash down as well. And of course I got killed by you again. I am terrible against Octobushes. I don't know why. But I just am. And they have a missing player. And we're losing. Well, I think we're losing. Right, best ones are clearly useful, as demonstrated there. Right, I need to get as high as I can. Right, I don't think we won that one, but we can always find out. Depends how much all that mess up there counts for. Right, the right. Apparently a lot. Once again on my 8 hours, once again the 94 is on the other team, which as demonstrated two times in a row basically means nothing, but I'm still mentioning it anyway for some reason, so yeah. Um, I'm going to use this to get some coverage because I like doing this. Right, you're going to start running out soon, and that was a mistake. Right, here we go. Right, let's get this little box covered. Right, you're the level 94 and got you using the help of best bombs. And you got killed as well. I'm glad that person switched out of an Octobus. They were using an Octobus new go last game, but they switched, so... They're now a lot easier for me to kill. Now, that didn't go brilliantly. Right, there's a little area we could cover here. I wish we could just have the old music. This is so much more stressful makes it a lot harder to concentrate on the game when you have crazy music in the background. This could make for like a cool mini game with your friends maybe. You could like have four blue, well whatever colour it is, four of one team on this one, four of the other team on the other one, and then missing a player um, and have to kill each other with bombs, burst bombs. Can I kill them? No. I thought they were super jumping away for a second, but no. There is someone up there. Who is going to probably go deep into our base. No! Didn't want to do that. 
And it probably sounded like two when I screamed no, but yeah. Right, let's get on this. Right, of course they're going to just destroy that instantly. Not that it does much for them. Right, I'm pretty sure they've won this game, but I'm going to try cover a bit more territory while I can. Right, I'm being followed, I think. Which doesn't mean too much, but we've lost, I'm pretty sure. If we've won, I'd be quite surprised. But let's find out anyway. No, we lost. Decided that I'd try out some splat zones. Because for all I know, this could be amazing at splat zones. And if it is, it'd be useful. Because I'd like to get to an S rank someday. And I'm currently at an A minus. Which is obviously quite far away. I'm probably going to get... Nope, I managed to kill them. Seem to be very good with this weapon, so... I'm liking it a lot. And I think I prefer it over the splash shot, because it seems to handle better in my opinion, and it could even shoot faster, but I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it's the same rate. There's another hero-type weapon. I want to get all the hero weapons, but... I don't know if I will, because that means completing the campaign or the levels another seven more times. Well, not all of them seven, some of them I've completed multiple times, because the first time you go through the campaign, you don't do it with only one weapon. They make you use certain weapons on certain stages sometimes. So, but it's approximately seven more times I've got to complete the whole campaign, which is like 25 levels and then five bosses. So it's going to take a while. I think it's 30 total like levels. I don't know though, I could be wrong. I can't remember completely. I did not notice that person go behind me. Didn't manage to kill them. Still didn't manage to kill them. And they killed me as well. So that did not go brilliantly. But it's not the end of the world. Right, there's someone over there. Oh, they're gonna win. Yep. We're on Walleye Warehouse again. Hopefully it won't go as badly as last time did. But, I do not know. There's no way I really can know. Like, we got in control instantly last game, which was okay. But then we lost it, and they won. So, who knows. How are they in control when half of the thing is our colour? How are both of us not hitting this guy? There we go, got them. Right, they got killed, which is good. How are they in control? Look at this, most of it is blue. Not anymore. This is not going brilliantly. At all. We're already losing again. Actually, no, we're not yet. How are you not dead? There we go. I did kill you. I was going to say. And they've took the lead. This is not going well. Probably shouldn't go up here. I would have died if I didn't use that, so that's why I did basically waste it. And they've won again. What is it with me and Splat Zones? We're on a tower control now, because the map's rotated. 
and we're on more eight hours as you can see and hopefully we can win. Now if someone gets on that tower I will bear spawn them. Didn't manage to kill them but I hit them twice. Can I kill you? I got you but you also got me. How is that guy not dead yet? Why would you just stand? They were just stood like this. Like, they were in their own ink, so you, if you're gonna stay still, you might as well swim, because then you're hidden. Common sense. Hiding is gonna be less likely to get you killed. There we go, got them killed. If I get anywhere close to dying, I'm just going to use this splashdown. Right, we seem to be doing good at the moment. And I killed them. Ooh, the tower comes up here, I didn't know that. Killed them. Are they on it, or... No, they are on it. How did you manage to kill me so easily? At least we took the lead massively. There's the chance, like, the, they could still overtake us, but it would take them a while. So I think we're fine. Like, tend to missiles, not brilliant. I'm going to get killed if I'm not careful. Right, where's the charger? Because burst bombs would be useful. Where's the tower? When did they get in control? I was going to say no one's on it, that's why it's beeping. And you are dead. Killed you as well. Now that would be useful for them, having a blue. Why is no one on the tower? What are you doing? I'm pretty sure the more people on the tower, the faster it moves, so this should be good. I would have got killed there, so that's why I used the splash on. Why have you got off the tower? Like, we still won, so I'm not going to complain too much. But why would you just get off the tower when it's at 1? Like, they could have got in control there. And got it moved. And then we could have not got a knockout. So it seems a bit stupid to do that. But either way, we won that game, so that was good. And I got the most kills in the whole game, so that's also quite good. Also used my special quite a few times. Could have definitely used it more, but in a in that sort of environment, you only want to use it when it's going to be very helpful to you. So that's why I only used it three times. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.